Yes, good afternoon. Welcome to your daily dose of Satoshi's news. Today's day is Wednesday, the 27th of September 2023, the year of BSV. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Let's get into this. So we're just going to go through this article today uh, because uh, it's <laughs> it's it cracks me up because I think this whole concept of uh, hodling and locking coins is just absolutely ridiculous. It's kind of like following the, the BTC narrative, really. Yeah, just kind of like lock up your coins so you can't use them. Hoddle, hoddle, hoddle. <laughs> so let's see what it says here by uh, uh, George Sexy Samuels. So uh, locking coins in BSV blockchain, a trend that's more than just hodling, really. All right, let's see. The concept of locking coins in the uh, blockchain is now is not new, but it has recently gained significant traction in the BSV blockchain community, because I suspect it's being infiltrated by BTCs. This article delves into the history, current trends and impact of a coin locking on BSV blockchain, offering insights into its various use cases and immediate action steps for business. Really? So locking coins has got use cases and action steps for business? All right, well, let's see what's going on then. A brief history of locking coins. Coin locking has its roots in the Bitcoin's original scripting capabilities, specifically the end lock time feature. This feature allows developers to create scripts that unlock coins only after a certain time has passed. Oh, well, I mean, I suppose it's maybe smart contracts, but doing it yourself is ridiculous. Um, over time, the concept have, has evolved with BSV blockchain taking it to new heights through various innovative uh, use cases. While locking coins is trending on BSV, well, come on, are you going to give us any decent information here? The BSV blockchain community has been buzzing with decisions about, about coin locking. Uh, thanks to entrepreneurs like Jack Lou and, of course, uh, Dr. Craig Wright. Lou aims to make locking up Bitcoin more user-friendly and fun. <laughs> this cracks me up. Uh, while Dr. Wright focuses on the serious applications of N-lock time transactions. The trend is fueled by the community's dedication to hodling, oh my god, uh, their coins with unwavering resolve, resisting any temptation to spend these Satoshis for an extended period. Just put them in cold storage. Put them in cold storage, keep them safe, you can get them out whenever you want. You don't have to lock them up and freeze them, you know, for any bit. You're effectively exposing yourself to market conditions. You know, the market might change, you might need some liquidity. Might need your coins back, you know, might want to spend them, might, might see something like, oh, I locked them away, oh, oh, I can't get them for like 10 years. <laughs> uh, the impact of locking coins for BSV blockchain community. Is this article going to tell us anything of any significance or any interest? Uh, coin locking in the BSV blockchain has uh, several implications. One, transparency. All locked coins and their conditions are publicly available on the uh, blockchain. What? So what? Who cares? That's uh, completely irrelevant. Two, <laughs> oh yeah, you can see your coins. So uh, so people can see when you've unlocked your coins and they know, uh, and they're going to be monitoring where you spend them. It's stupid. Um, community engagement. The concept has sparked discussion and debates within the community, leading to new ideas and applications. Like what? Like what? <laughs> financial planning it offers individuals and businesses a new way to plan their financial future what by by planning in the future that nobody can predict it's so ridiculous uh use cases for locking coins really okay let's see if there is anything of any relevance here whatsoever uh joshua hensley first described the following use cases one public leaderboard of uh, leaderboard of locked coins i thought this was going to be a use case what a leaderboard can display the amount and duration of locked coins, uh, gamifying the process and encouraging more people to participate in locking their coins. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a use case. Where's the value in that? Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, tiered social media interactions. Thresholds based on locked coins can be used to create um, exclusive chat groups or social interactions. So what? There's no value in that. Where is the use case? Three, revenue earning to uh, time lock script. Artists and entrepreneurs can use locked scripts as a, a vesting schedule, increasing consumer confidence. What? That's not a use case at all. How does it increase consumer confidence? That's ridiculous. This is, this is just hilarious. Four, security measures. In case of break-in, all cold storage coins can be set to a, a time lock script, making them inaccessible for a certain period. 
Well, just put them in cold storage anyway. This is this is just absolutely insanity. Totally insanity. Uh, be sure to also check out this. Um, oh, they're calling it like X Suite and Thread from uh, Xscape uh, X Space with uh, uh, Michael Wernerman and Daniel Kravitz. What's this? Watch at one point as we save time. Economics of locking BSV for uh, signals on social media. Do not confuse it with a hodl or anything like that. About game changer plus banger plus uh, only possible thanks to be there is nothing. This this is an absolute waste of time. Uh, an action step for businesses. Businesses can integrate coin locking into their financial planning and consumer engagement strategies. For example, they can offer special discounts or access to premium services for customers who lock. They're just, they're just encouraging locking again uh, in a certain amount of BSV. This not only incentivizes customer loyalty, but also provides businesses with a more predictable revenue stream. Give me a break. They've, they've already got the coins they'll be on the balance sheet. Oh, yeah, but we're going to lock them away so they're not really on the balance sheet. Oh, we'll save them for later, even though nobody can predict the future. This is absolutely insane. Uh, unfortunately, there is uh, limited information on how businesses specifically can benefit from locking coins, because they can't, because uh, businesses need liquidity. Uh, they need cash on hand in the BSV blockchain at the moment. But the uh, experiments continue and are incredibly intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Conclusion. Coin locking in the BSV blockchain is more than just a trend. It's a uh, multifaceted strategy with various applications ranging from financial planning. Just give me a use case here. Give me anything of value uh, to community engagement. Just give me any use case here. This is so ridiculous. As the concept continues to evolve. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is like uh, Blockstream. Uh, encouraging hodling. So, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna develop Bitcoin for hodling. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna develop BTC. I mean, how do you develop something for hodling? It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It needs to do. It doesn't need to do anything. You can't use it for anything. Oh dear. It's crucial for businesses and individuals alike to understand its potential impact and benefits. Oh my goodness me, that was hilarious. I think one of the best memes I've ever seen for um, locking coins is this one um, from uh, I think it's. Uh, big crash. He said, uh, I found a savior to lock my BSV. His name is Lou. Jack Lou. I've locked 0 0.05 uh, BSV for 10 years. <laughs> it's like, oh, I locked 0 0.05 for 10 years. Can't get it for 10 years. This is so funny. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> oh, provided me with a bit of a uh, bit, of, uh, bit of jovialness this morning. Uh, this is quite interesting. So look, look at this. Uh, Bitcoin ETF news. So we've got SEC pushes deadline for ARK 21 shares spot Bitcoin ETF to January. This is this is even worse than locking coins. So this is like not even buying a Bitcoin. They're just like, give us your money and we will buy it for you. And all you can do is buy shares in the fund that buys the Bitcoin. So you can't, you you give us your money, we'll buy Bitcoin with it. And uh, you just get a share in the trust that's bought the Bitcoin and you don't own the Bitcoin. So you can't use the Bitcoin, which means you're stuck with dirty dollar. And when, um, you know, if the fund does well <clears throat> and you want to liquidate uh, your assets, again, you have to pay a capital gains tax on it. Because you're not actually buying Bitcoin. You're not using Bitcoin. It's absolutely insane what's... Well, I mean, I think it's nefarious what's going on. Anybody who understands Bitcoin, you know, would know that this is just literally more ways to hoodwink people to just simply not use it. Let's see what this says. Uh, the commission gave itself an additional 60 days to consider the listing of ARC21 shares investment vehicle on the... Um, uh, is, it, is that... Um, C B O E uh, B Z X exchange with a final deadline for uh, Jan 10th. Oh, who cares? The United States Securities and Exchange Commission is taking the maximum time allowed uh, for the regulator to reach a decision on a spot big uh, BTC exchange traded fund or ETF offering ARC 21 shares. So you buy the shares and they'll buy the BTC for you. In a September 26th notice, SEC said it would uh, designate a longer period on whether to approve or disapprove. Uh, a proposed rule uh, change <clears throat> that would allow ARK21 shares spot Bitcoin ETF um, on the... Is that Chicago? Um, the C um, CBOE. Well, let's just... Uh, curiosity, see what that is. CBOE. It's 
change what's this what's that oh Chicago board options exchange right oh, there we go got it so uh, Chicago board options exchange uh, oh, who cares honestly honestly my god um, What's this one? US lawmakers call on SEC chair to approve a spot Bitcoin ETFs immediately. Again, I mean, they're just pressurizing. They're literally trying to find any way to pump the price of BTC. Again, there's no use case. There is literally no use case in an ETF. It's like it's literally like locking coins. It is literally like locking coins. You can't do it's like, oh, yeah, I, I've paid for Bitcoin, but I didn't actually get Bitcoin. What did you get? Oh, I got I got a share in a company that bought the Bitcoin, meaning that I can't use the Bitcoin and therefore I have to pay a capital gains tax whenever I, uh, if I want to liquidate uh, what I put in. And what I put in, the yeah, the value of it is 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 based on the value of uh, of BTC, and the value of BTC is based on utility. If something is useful, it's valuable. If something is useless, it's worthless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, invest in something that makes it worthless, um, hoping that it's going to increase its value. <laughs> oh dear the members of the house uh, financial services committee are expected to question gary gensler's during a uh, september 27th hearing on sec oversight oh my goodness me talk talk about shooting themselves in the foot yeah i'm going to invest in something uh, that makes it useless uh, hoping that it uh, increases in value with its usefulness dear oh dear What's this? Bitwise Amend Spot ETF application uh, with new detailed uh, argumentation. Uh, and again, all these people that are trying to persuade everybody that a uh, Bitcoin ETF is a good idea for number go up. It's just so stupid. Literally, oh, you know, locking coins, buy, you know, investing in an ETF, all this rubbish. It's hilarious. Uh, all of this stuff will be exposed, <clears throat> uh, obviously. On the uh, 15th of January 2024, which is representing the largest court case in financial history, <clears throat> the cabal representing COPA, um, well, COPA, uh, masquerade, or uh, the cabal masquerading as COPA uh, versus Bitcoin. The 15th of January 2024, largest court case in financial history. Stay tuned and we'll bring you more. Catch you guys later.